friends, your teacher should have given you a link to a hopes and dreams page or hopes and dreams actually slide deck that has lots and lots of clouds in it. And the top one I'm going to fill out with my hope and dream to show you how to do this. So each of you will choose one of these clouds that you will get to um, write your own dream in. So I'm going to start with mine. So Ms. Add my name where there's a question mark. My loves. Okay, dream. And then I'm going to go down here and hit enter. And my dream is to um, uh, to ensure that social justice is um, is happening. All right. So I want to make sure that social justice is happening in this world. So if I want, I can go ahead and can change my colors and my words if I wanted to. You know, I love different colors, so I could, oops, that's not what I want. I want to change the color of my font. I can change the color of the font if I want to. I can make that into a rainbow. I like. That's something that I could do to gussy it up while I'm waiting for other friends to be done. Um, make it same social justice. Maybe I'll make this like a dark green. Let's see. Darker green. Blue. And purple. Okay. Is it essential that these be colored? No. If you don't choose to, that's fine. Um, one thing you might want to do though is to add some pictures. So in order to do that, you're going to have to go over to insert and you can go to image. And then you can go down to search the web. Okay, it's very careful. I'm just going to show you this one more time, just so you follow it. You go to insert, and you go to image, then you go to search the web, and it opens up this really cool box over here. So if I type in social justice, and hit enter, it shows me a bunch of things, including this awesome rainbow flag, which I know represents um, different genders and different um, different people that you might love. And so that's a great image. I might choose this one. So if I want to choose this one, I think you just actually drag it. Boom. And there you have it. Oh, I guess I lied about that. Oh, there I was. I was right. Just took a little while. So I'm going to shrink it up a little. Shrink, shrink, shrink. Shrink, shrink, shrink. Okay, then if I want to, I can even take it a little. There we go. And now I think I'm going to look, search for a fist too. Because a fist represents, all the fingers represent all the different people and the diversity and then coming together. So I'm going to go ahead, click fist. Oh yeah, these are looking like some good fists. Hmm, hard to choose. Oh, they all look so good. Kind of like this one. It's kind of gritty. All right. And I'm going to resize this to shrink it up. Now, do you have to add a ton of pictures? No. Maybe one picture would be nice um, if you find a good one. If you don't find a good one, that is totally understandable. You do not have to include a picture. But make sure that you have some sort of dream. Now, something important. When you go in to make your own, you may not get to do the very first slide in the deck. In fact, it's very likely that your teacher will already have done that. So what you're going to need to do, though, is you're gonna, there may be lots of other people in this deck as well. And in fact, I have just simulated an anonymous pumpkin here. Um, so people who are in the deck with you will appear as a little bubble inside of the slide. So if I'm choosing a slide to be in and I see someone's in it already, or I see that it already has words inside, am I going to go in that one? No way. I'm going to choose a different one. And then I'm going to click there. They're going to see my bubble when they look at mine, and so they won't go into that one. I hope that makes sense, friends. All right. I can't wait to see what hopes and dreams all of you have.